The way to obtain ores in Clash of Clans is causing some problems, so let's talk about them. The ores to upgrade hero equipment in Clash of Clans are incredibly rare, which I think is fine, but the way to obtain them is causing some problems for, for the pro players and for the casual players. I want to talk about the pro players first because that is what the uh, thumbnail is about, and then we'll talk about how it's affecting the casual players as well. So first of all, is the way to obtain ores kind of pushing things to be pay to win? And I think they kind of are. And the reason is the main way to get ores right now in Clash of Clans is through doing the Clan Wars or Clan War League, which Clan War League's not really an issue for what I'm talking about. We're focused mainly on Clan Wars, which is the primary way to get ores to upgrade your hero equipment. So the pro players in the competitive scene, most of these teams are doing a couple of matches a week via friendly challenge because those are how uh, competitive matches are held. Well, the problem with that is you can't do a regular war and a friendly war. I said friendly challenge, I meant friendly war. You can't do those two types of wars at the same time. So these pro players are having to sit out multiple uh, regular wars per week. And some of these pro teams like uh, Navi and some of those other top teams, they're doing several matches a week, which means they have to sit out several uh, regular wars. I think they've adjusted their schedule a little bit, but they're still doing like three days a week sometimes, sometimes more. So it definitely makes things challenging. So how does that make things kind of uh, pay to win, you might ask? So normally I wouldn't describe Clash of Clans as pay to win in the competitive scene because it's just pay to progress and most people at the top of the scene are pretty much at the same level anyway. Well, it's kind of different now with hero equipment. Because a lot of these players have to sit out wars, the main way they're upgrading their hero equipment is by spending money. And the ones who are spending more money, have the maxed out equipment, have a bit of an advantage. And I think that's kind of a problem. And I said earlier, I think it's fine that the hero equipment is kind of rare, and I think it's fine if it stays that way. But I think something that does need to change is there need to be either other ways to get hero equipment, or not hero equipment, to get ores to upgrade the hero equipment. Um, or maybe put in a way so that regular wars and friendly wars can be done at the same time, which uh, Supercell's actually discussed before, and apparently that's that would be like a big overhaul of the friendly war system if they had to do it that way. Uh, I think it's actually better if there are just alternate ways to get the ores, and we'll get into more of that as I talk about how this is impacting the casual players too, because the fix for friendly wars doesn't help the casual player because they're not worried about doing friendly wars they are sitting out of wars because their heroes are upgrading. And I touched on this a bit in my previous video as well, but I want to go over some of this again. But uh, players are having to put their heroes down for upgrades, and most clans don't want you playing in the clan war if your heroes are upgrading, which means you can't get ores. And it's actually a good reason to not let players play without heroes, because if you lose the war, you lose a significant chunk of the ores you would have gotten if you had won the war. So it absolutely makes sense to not let players play in wars with heroes down, which is super unfortunate. I know in my clan, we've had an increase of players trying to play clan wars while heroes are sleeping because they want to get the ores. And what we've had to do is basically set up another clan for people to play wars with heroes down. Now, they're not going to win nearly as much, but they can at least farm some ores while waiting for heroes to upgrade. And that is one solution that lots of people can do, but not everybody has... Uh, the resources or the time to have two separate clans running so maybe players would have to find just find another clan that lets them do wars while heroes are upgrading that's always an option of course the other option is spending money to wake heroes up but that's that's not the route that most of the casual players want to go a lot of these guys are going to be free to play but having such a limited way to get the ores has been a massive headache for pretty much all players in clash of clans and causing some potential problems in the competitive scene as well. Now, with all that said, I do want to touch on some potential solutions to said problems. I think I already kind of mentioned one, just uh, give players other routes to get ores. I think they could be added to clan games. Uh, they could be added to like the silver pass, the gold pass, uh, things of that nature. Maybe the ores and the star bonus could be buffed a little. Maybe give us uh, star bonus a little more frequently. They gave us a way to do more star bonuses on the builder base i think it'd be great if they could do the same thing for the home village but if they are going to increase the home village ores they need to add the starry ore as well that has to be a way to get all the ores that you could potentially need 
Now, like I said, this could still be rare, so it doesn't necessarily need to be a lot of ores for these different potential other ways to get them, but at least uh, gives players something if they can't do regular wars for whatever reason. The other thing that this is causing a problem with for casual players, which I talked about a lot in my previous video, is it's making them not want to upgrade heroes, which I think is bad for the game. We're going to end up with a lot of players with rushed heroes, and honestly, I just don't think the heroes are going to be very good, even if you have maxed out equipment, if the heroes are rushed because they don't have as much health, they don't have as much damage to move quickly through the base. It's uh, going to be an issue that we see more of down the line. Thankfully, it's not all bad news. Supercell gave us the Cookie Rumble event when all this was launched, and in that event, they gave us a ton of ores. So that was a great way to help get people boosted, get them the ores without necessarily having to do... Um, regular clan wars so that was a nice boost to everybody there's speculation that there's a lunar new year event coming um, which will most likely give us another large amount of ores to work with and potentially a new piece of hero equipment but again that's speculation the other thing is that is not really super often once every it's something that only comes up once every couple of months if they stay with that sort of schedule uh, it's not necessarily guaranteed that we'll see one a couple of months after one in February if we get one in February. So I don't, while the events are super nice and a nice little boost, it's not often enough to really be a solution to the issue. Now, obviously a solution that people have been floating around is to just let people use upgrading heroes in war. And honestly, I don't think that's ever going to happen. That is, that's going to be a big source of income for Supercell is people buying gems or hero books to get their heroes back for regular war. So I think that idea is pretty much off the table. I wouldn't expect Supercell to do something like that. Something they might do is maybe give us a magic item at some point that lets us temporarily use an upgrading hero. Uh, but then again, I guess that would just be the Book of Heroes. So <laughs> that wouldn't really make much sense unless it was like some sort of potion. But yeah, I don't think that we can expect to use any heroes in wars while they're upgrading. So we'll just have to look for different solutions. And honestly, I think this solution is obvious. Just give us different ways to get the ores so that people can still upgrade the hero equipment without sacrificing the hero upgrades as well. Because it really shouldn't be either or. It should be something that gets upgraded side by side. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Those are the issues with the current way to get ores in the game. Let me know if I missed anything or what other thoughts you guys might have down below. If you want to see my rant on why you should upgrade your heroes, you can check out this video right here.